Welcome to Dundark. And welcome back to Carpe Diem Reboot. Last time, we ate a breakfast sandwich, and took a shower, and I learned how to type. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, now we're waking up again. A warm sensation on the back of my hand tears me from my sleep. I slowly open my eyes and see a sleeping face just inches from me. My hand is rested on her neck. Whoa! <laughs> Startled, I quickly pull my hand away and shuffle backwards until I hit the wall. What? What? A loud thud wakes her up and she sees me against the wall, panicking. What happened? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. I was having a nice dream and everything. You dream? Dreams? You have dreams too? It's so human-like. Just so you know, having a physical body grants me the power to punch you anytime I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. You can't be a tsundere. It's rude. Of course you are. It may be prosthetic, but my brain functions the same way as yours. Your whole body is prosthetic, though. She taps my arm with a light punch and gets out of bed. Well, now that you've woken me up, get ready to go out. We're, we're going out this early? I lay back and cover myself with the blanket, but I need more sleep. Right, you say that after you wake me up. Hey, it's your fault. How is it my fault? Uh, you were sleeping too close to me. I woke up exactly where I went to sleep. If anything, it's you who is sleeping too close to me. Uh, then why don't you make your own bed? You made a human body. Surely a bed isn't too complex, right? She looks like she wanted to say something, but couldn't think of a comeback. What are we even arguing about? <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, about going outside too early. Then what does building a bed even have to do with that? I don't know. She just sighs softly. <sighs> Come on, young. Get up. She starts fixing her side of the bed. Are you thinking of going outside looking like that? Looking like that? <sighs> so rude. She looks down at the loose t-shirt and what she's wearing and glances back at me as she walks towards the closet. Great. She's finally gone. I close my eyes. I'll make a few more minutes of sleep while she gets dressed. Dad? Less than as, as I'm about to doze off, I feel two hands grip my foot. Go! <laughs> she forcefully grabs my leg, causing me to fall out of bed and hit the floor. Ow. How rude. Would you like to keep hitting the snooze button, or can we go? This is domestic violence. I can sue you. I doubt the government has any documentation on me anyway. I can get away with any crimes <laughs> if I want to. The government, huh? I'm pretty sure they at least know of her program. They do? The government knows about her program? That's surprising, actually. Like, how many people know about I? It's a good question. I mean, if the government knows, like, who else knows? Is his boss person the person who wants him to get back on the project? Is he, like, a government guy? I don't know. I grunt as I stand up on the cold floor. From the cold floor. The market isn't going anywhere. Can't we just go around noon? You used to complain about going out at noon because it's crowded. I have no problems with it. I get to meet other people. Ugh. I wish I was gifted with an easygoing attitude like you. Fine, we're going now. Don't have a wide selection of clothes, but so I like to believe what I have is multi-purpose. While well, I normally sleep in also functions as decent casual clothing I can use outside, so I just put on a sweater and I'm ready to leave. You're not gonna do anything about your bed hair? Who's gonna care about that? I certainly don't. As I grip the doorknob, I turn around and a look of anticipation is on Ice's face. Decided to step outside for the first time ever? Who said it's my first time? You... Don't tell me you went outside yesterday. I just... took a peek. <laughs> and a soft sigh. We should get something to eat first. I'm hungry. Good idea! I lock the door and head down the stairway as I fell slowly behind. I'm worried about how she handles stairs, so I keep looking back at her to make sure she's okay. 
I offer my hand to a sister, but she stubbornly waves me off. It'd be a good idea to remember the route we take in case we get separated. Don't worry, I spent a lot of time studying maps of this area, so I should be okay. Oh, you did. The market is pretty close by, so it shouldn't really be a problem. I had her a small map of town with the address of my apartment and my phone number hand written on it. Even I can be responsible once in a while. I mean, it, uh, uh, like a physical map? Like, you don't just have a smartphone with a map application on it? Like, seriously? <laughs> Without looking, she hand hands it, inserts it into her pocket. I proceeds to examine every single thing she sees from this point on. The grass, the rocks, the telephone poles, the garbage bins. We're never gonna get anywhere at this pace. I know, I know! Let's go! Hello, stranger! She yells at a passerby, who proceeds to nod back at her. Hey, what are you doing? I can't help it! He's the first human- Oh, sorry. He's the first human being I've seen. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the first human being you've ever seen. You don't count. Ooh. Oh, that, that hurts. That, that hurts me way more than I thought it would. I contemplate my humanity. Where are we eating again? The bakery where I buy the cakes. You should totally try the breakfast croissant sandwich thing. You'll love it. A bakery that offers a breakfast menu? Uh, I just found out yesterday. Cool, right? Well, you rarely leave the house early in the morning after all. If I remember correctly, that bakery is on the way to the market, right? Yeah. It's pretty much inside it, honestly. You uh, look that up too? I have been preparing for the day I roam this town since the minute I showed up. Ah! She points at the bakery as we turn around the corner. That's it, right? That's the one. Let's go! She quickly pulls me towards the bakery. She must be starving. Welcome! Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Lady at the counter chuckles and smiles at her. Hi, how are you? I walks up to the counter. I'm doing great! How about you? Oh, hey, a CG with the lady from the bakery. She's an actual person with art. That's cool. Also, this is a cute CG. <laughs> He's not bothering her. <laughs> oh boy. Lady chuckles again. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I'm doing well. Everything here looks so good. And the smell is nice too. Thank you. We bake everything in the morning, so it'll smell like this for a few hours. I hope that's okay. That's absolutely fantastic! Aww. I could live here forever! Lady happily converses with I, who won't stop bombarding her with questions about everything in the bakery. She's a little too excited to be talking to someone other than me, because apparently I don't count and I'm not technically a real human in her eyes. I just sit at a table near the counter and wait for them to finish. There's no other customers at the moment, so I don't see a reason to stop by from having a little fun. My order can wait. Did you bake all of these? My father does all the baking. He owns this bakery. Oh. The father does the baking. Oh, is the father uh, the MC's friend? Nah, probably not. I do help out with it every once in a while, but not much. My name is I, by the way. Oh, so it is pronounced I, and I'm not just mispronouncing it as AI. Like, uh, instead of, you know what I mean. So I, I'm, I'm right. I'm always right. I always pronounce names right. You know that. Out of nowhere, she introduces herself for no reason at all. Leek covers her mouth with her hand and tries her best to contain her laughter. <laughs> this might be the first time I've ever had a customer introduce themselves to me. Really? I mean, like, you don't do the Starbucks thing where you, you ask their name and then you write it on the cup? I guess it's a bakery, not, not a coffee shop, but... I mean, I have to serve coffee. I mean... What kind of bakery doesn't serve coffee? I mean, seriously. My name is Yume. Nice to meet you, I. Like, imagine, you know, you, you go to the bakery in the morning and you get, like, a, a, you know, you get a latte and a croissant breakfast sandwich. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I'd, I'd do that. And you too, devil cake guy. <laughs> also, this person has a name, Yume. What? Devil cake guy? You buy it every time you come here, don't you? Ah, I, I didn't think you'd remember me from just that. Why not? You're more or less a regular at this shop. Are you ordering it today as well? 
Well, probably come back later for that. We're just here for the breakfast croissant thingy. Yeah, we just need to eat something before we go shopping. Sounds fun, I'll have them prepared for you. She walks into the kitchen and I sits down next to me. You may, you may. You may, you may. Are you happy now that you finally know a name that's not mine? Are you jealous that someone has a way cuter name than yours? <laughs> not at all. I hope that you're not planning to talk to everyone like we met today like that. Why not? Probably gonna bother them. We're supposed to be shopping, not conducting street interviews. What's wrong with making friends? I don't have any problems with that, but there's a proper time and place for things like that. This is why you have no friends, you know. Oof. That, that hurts. I, I have no friends because I choose to have no friends. I was kidding, I get it. I get it, you like being alone. I get it. She... Ooh, voice crack. She looks around the shop. Croissant breakfast. Croissant breakfast. It's croissant breakfast. Yeah, like I said, what about it? You called it breakfast croissant earlier. <laughs> but it is a breakfast croissant. Give me a break. It's basically the same thing. Your order's here. She places two breakfast croissants. Croissant breakfast, sorry. Platters on the table. It smells really good. Enjoy. Aw. Hey, Yume. Oh, uh, she has a portrait, too. Oh, that's cool. Hey. What is uh, it? I stops her as she, before she goes back to the camera. Why don't you sit here with us? <laughs> she wants to talk to her. I, I told you to stop bothering her. Why not? Well, if it's okay with Devil Cake Guy, <laughs> I could certainly do that. Me? Uh, I, I don't really mind. Is it okay for you to do that, though? Sure. No one else is here right now. That's fair. Well, do they get enough business, or is, like, is Devil Cake Guy the only pe person, like, keeping them in business? Like, why is there no one here for breakfast? I thought breakfast at the bakery is pretty popular. Well, then, I guess I'll sit right next to both of you. Yay! That was a loud yay. You may sit beside I, smiling the whole time. I knew I was excited to talk to people and make new friends, but it seems like Yume enjoys her just as much. It's weird. Yeah, what? what you know, why is why, why is another human being nice? Humans aren't nice to people. I takes the first bite of her breakfast, and her reaction is priceless. She covers her mouth while chewing, and her eyes overflow with joy. What is this creation? It's delicious! <laughs> Glad you like them. I've been told that the food here is great, but this is way better than I expected! It's totally better than anything I've ever eaten before! Well, you haven't eaten that much. I mean, you had, uh, you had cup noodle, you had the cake, uh, that's all we've seen you eat, at least, like, on screen. You've eaten, like, three things in your life. Maybe you shouldn't mention that she is, like, was born yesterday. Almost literally. What do you mean by that? Ah. <laughs> ah it's nothing. <laughs> Don't mind him. She kicks me under the table and glares at me. I see. This isn't hard to make at all. You could learn it in just minutes. Oh, well, maybe I can get a, get a job at the bakery. You know. Learn how to bake. It seems like she likes food. And programming. What? You made this? Yeah, this is one of the few things I make myself here. Well, you'd have to make a breakfast croissant, like, fresh. Well, at least you'd have to, like, bake it. Like, you know, like, toast it or whatever. You have to cut the croissant to put the cheese and the meat or whatever. I mean, you can't just have that pre-made and let heat gun it, or it's not gonna heat gun, microwave it. Or it's not gonna be very tasty, you know? I'm also the one who put it on the menu in the first place, so I have to take responsibility for it. That's fair. That's amazing! You should teach me how to make it sometime. Aw. Sure, I can totally teach you sometime. Well, that's nice. It amazes me how casual the conversation is, despite these two just meeting for the first time ten minutes ago. Ai's bright and cheerful personality is one thing, but Yume's pretty and friendly out- and go <laughs> pretty friendly outgoing- herself. I can't read. But Yume is pretty 
friendly and outgoing herself. There's no comma there. It's not pretty comma, friendly comma, and outgoing. It's pretty friendly and outgoing. I'm, I'm sorry. I can tell that they're going to get along really well. So, you two were shopping today? Yep. If you know a good shopping place, just let me know. Ah, uh, that reminds me. This is the first time Devil Cake Guy has come here with someone else. Oh yeah, so, you know, I made this AI, and the AI built a body, and, you know, that's how it is, right? <laughs> Are you thing. new in this town? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So what are you looking for at the market exactly? Well, you know, uh, well, food, uh, prop of pr better clothing, you know, uh, conditioner apparently. Clothes. I have nothing. I have zero clothes. Hmm, clothing stores. <laughs> well, I mean, she does, but. I pulls out the map I gave her earlier. Just show them to me on this map. I guess that's useful. That it's useful to have a physical map in that case. It's easier to point to things, I suppose, than on like a little phone screen. Sure. I don't really shop for clothes often, so I'm not necessarily the best reference point. But let's see. Although, I suppose that's one of the nice things about you know phones are really big nowadays. Like, like with your plus size phone, so you know it's easier to feel the point to things on them. That's okay, I don't need much anyway. You may circle some parts of the map for pen. They all seem to be in the market area. These should be pretty easy to find. We finish eating the croissants and get ready to head out. You may takes our plates and heads back to the kitchen. We'll see you later, you may. The food was delicious. Thanks, see you. Thanks, see you. We'll hit the stores she circled on the map first. You should definitely be able to find enough clothes at all of these. Gotcha. What else do you need? Let's see. Things like a toothbrush, towel... And conditioner. <laughs> Wait, we also need to buy you conditioner. Do I need that? I think so. <laughs> you should at least learn how to take care of your body, or hair, or whatever. We stop at one of the shops you may marked on the map. It's all up to you now. I'll be back in a bit. I'll, uh, stay here then. Wait. Eh? Eh? <laughs> you can't say eh in an English visual novel. You can't do that in a dub. That, you, can't, you know. Take this. You'll, you'll need to pay. She takes my credit card out of my hands and gives a quick nod before tr tr trotting off. Does she know you're a pin? Maybe, I mean, I guess if she orders stuff online with your money, I guess she probably would. But well, no, you don't need the pin to order stuff online, though, so... Does she know your pin? Or is she just gonna, like, tap and then you don't need a pin? Or is this America and you don't need a pin at all when you use a credit card? <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I heads inside the store and walks directly up to the sales lady in the underwear section. Fair. They chat for about 15 minutes. So wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you just, are you sitting outside the store, like, staring, creeping in the window, looking at the underwear section? Like, that's a little weird. Just gonna point that out. A little strange. Honestly, it probably would have been better if you went in with her. I can't hear what they're talking about from where I'm standing, but I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with underwear. <laughs> just chatting her up. Oh, come on, we don't get a portrait, then. How could you talk about underwear for 15 minutes? I certainly love conversation, that's for sure. After a while, she heads to another section of the store and strikes up a conversation with another saleswoman. Again, they chat for an excessive amount of time, for I choose a few items. Is she a chatbot? The process repeats for about four times until she's finally ready to pay. That took forever. I bought enough clothes here to last me a couple of weeks. That way we don't need to go to another store for clothing. Works for you, right? Uh, I guess it does. Saves us some walking. I still want more, though. So if we could... Listen. You got your clothes. We're off to buy other things you need now. Got it? But I need more. Oh, you're gonna go to the brain store at the top, right? <laughs> See, that's why I need my mouse cursor on, so I could, like, point to it. Um... 
No. You follow me now. We proceed to the department store to get the thing I actually need. After finishing up the conditioner list, we stop by a local food mart and grab some more stuff for the pantry. This way, we will be able, both be able to survive as the humans we are. At this point, we're ready to head back to the bakery and get our cakes. Hi, Yume! We're back! Hey, how was the shopping? It was great! It was hell. <laughs> Ah, uh, Young. You're the best, honestly. Sounds about right. Are you getting the devil cake now? Yeah, please. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? I kind of want to try something else, but I can't decide. What do you recommend? What could possibly be better than devil's food cake? <laughs> Why don't you try the angel cake, then? Oh, that's fair. Try angel cake. Traitor. What is it? Sounds like the exact opposite of the devil cake. That's fair. That's not really the opposite, but it doesn't have the chocolate that the devil cake has. Wait. So, am I the only one calling it devil's food cake? Maybe. That's the real name, but it's a bit of a mouthful to say, don't you think? Same with the angel food cake. Uh, I think this is the first time I've heard of that being sold here. We added it not too long ago. That's fair. I guess I'll give it a try then. Why don't we just eat this here? We're already carrying a lot of stuff, and there's no way I'm leaving here without a devil cake. You finally decided to call it devil cake as well, huh? Sounds good! Let's do that! Alright, help yourselves to a table, and I'll get everything ready for you in just a moment. You may walk to the, into the kitchen as we sit down at the same table from this morning. You seem to be in a good mood now, I. I totally am! I get to eat the angel cake for the first time with you! Aww. What about it? Come on! I don't ever get to experience new things with you. I'm kinda late to the party for exploring the real world. There are so many things that you've done that I haven't yet! That's why it thrills me to know that I get to experience something alongside you for the first time! Oh yeah, that's fair. So it's something that's new for both him and for I. That's fair. There are so many things I've yet to do myself, though. It's not like you would do half of them anyway. That's the thing, though. If you want to do them, then why not? Doing something new isn't always a bad thing. Really? Then let's go mountain climbing sometime. You want to go mountain climbing? And then rock climbing. Skydiving looks exciting, too. And... One at a time. Make a list of things you want to do in the near future, but... Please omit all the scary stuff. I mean, rock climbing isn't that bad, but uh, skydiving, that's a little scary. What do you mean, scary? They all look so fun! Just tell me what you want to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if we can do it. But you think all of the things I want to do are scary. Not everything. Just everything you listed so far. Here are your angel cakes. Oh, here it is! I hope you don't mind me sitting with you guys again. Aw. No, not at all. I was actually just about to ask you that. Go ahead. Thanks. Did you find everything you needed from the market? More or less. I think I'll be able to survive for a while. I don't really get what that means, but good for you. <laughs> this is so good! Of course it is. The shop doesn't know how to make bad food. I'm kind of flattered by that. Thank you. Aw. It's weird that your shop is so empty when the food here is so good. That is kind of odd. Yeah, what's the deal there? We're just a small bakery, after all. People tend to go to the shops around the mall more than this one. Oh. Besides if they like going out of business or something. Are you doing well with sales? It's not a problem, I suppose. I have another job, so I help with all of the financial stuff for my parents. Oh. You work in two jobs? And... Ugh. And, and donating money to your parents to help them stay afloat, that's kind of sad, but well, I hope they do better. Double jobs. Yeah, that, that must be really stressful. Can't imagine myself doing something like that. You can barely do one job. <laughs> it's not all that stressful. I get to work from home for both of them, so all is well. Is this your home? Do you like live above the store? Nice, so what's your other job? There's this website called Code Bounty where. Oh. <laughs> 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 
is everyone a programmer in this story? Is, is that just it? Is every single cute girl you meet gonna be a programmer? That's like, the least realistic thing, but fair. No way! You're a programmer too? Oh yeah, she goes by the name, uh, whatever the guy's- the number one guy's name was online, yeah. You use that website as well, I? I do! Yeah. Wow. Not to brag or anything, but I'm actually ranked in the top three on that website. Oof. That's amazing. That's amazing, I'm ranked number one. No, <laughs> I'm ranked number one. <laughs> I don't check the ratings often, huh. but I handle a lot of projects for the money. Maybe we've even worked together on some of them. I take on almost every project available, so it's definitely possible. That's cool. Same goes for me. That means you should be somewhere in the rankings. What name do you go by? Troy, was it? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, 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 she's actually Troy. Of course she's Troy. Uh-oh. This might be trouble. Eyes draw, drops to the floor. She can't even speak. Her arch nemesis just appeared out of nowhere in the form of a bakery worker. <laughs> Out of the millions of people that could have been Troy, the odds of it being new Yume were non-existent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, that's incredibly unlikely. I is in shock. Apparently, you're at the top of the list on the site. Really? Wow, I didn't know. Not that it means anything to me personally. You're Troy? Y your, your reaction's a, a bit late. I can't believe it. Like, that Troy? I'm not sure if we're talking about the same person, but I'm the Troy with the big X picture. So it really is you! This is so unreal! You know, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> You're suddenly her biggest fan? Just yesterday you said she kicks my leg as you make giggles. Oh, I know! Why don't you give me your phone number? I pulls out the phone out of the pocket of my sweater and hands it over to Yume. So, okay, so so she's she, he does have a, a, a phone, probably a smartphone, I would think. Huh. She's already taken to the idea of, ex of friends exchanging numbers, I guess. Sure. After quickly typing in her information, you may hand the phone back to I. Shoot me a text message and I'll save your number, too. So, both of you are programmers, huh? Yeah, we both are. Uh, I don't use that site like you two, though. Ah, I see. By the way, I don't think I've gotten your real name yet. Am I graduating from Devil Cake Guy? Yes, I suppose you are. It's Young. Young. Yes. She looks at me, puzzled. It's because she thinks my name's weird? Well, I mean, it kind of is. But still. Young of the Kanya Shenti. Kanya Shenti? Oh, you know about it? Wait, really? It's rare for someone to know about the Kanya Shanti. Kanya what now? You may pause it for a bit, clearly unconvinced. Can I see your chest? What? What? What's happening? Whoa, what's happening? Why are things getting super sexual all of a sudden? <laughs> Basically me in episode 3. For a second, I was confused, but I finally realized what she's up to. I unzip my sweater jacket and pull up the shirt beneath it until the insignia on my left chest is visible. The insignia of the Kanya Shenti, that looks like nothing more than a fancy birth birthmark. I'm really glad they said Kanya Shenti, because I would not have pronounced it like that if you asked me to read it. Whoa, what is that? You may seem to be pre pretty convinced now, but it still appears to be doubting something. I fix my shirt and sit my sweater jacket back up. I feel jacket. really ignored right now, and I'm still confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what are they talking about? I heard about the Kanya Shenti when I was a kid. You actually get backstory on Young? A group of prodigies, people call them. I was really amazed by the idea of it all. Oh, they had a, a group of kids that were the best in their in their field, and they gathered them all together and called them Ultimates and built a school called Hope's Peak. And, no, no, that, that's Danganronpa. In fact, I was so amazed that I started having dreams about becoming a member myself. Well, you want to go to Hope's Peak? That's why I looked up almost everything I could about them, and learned about things like the chess marks, the names of some members, and even some origin theories. Wow. But that was when I was young. 
No, I'm young. In the end, the idea of a secret organization composed of highly intellectual members seemed a little too good to be true, and no one was even able to get a hold of any of the members, so it became nothing more than rumor in my mind. Are they all like loners? Like, young? A myth. A myth. As I grew older, my dreams of joining them began to fade away. But I think it's possible they're still locked away inside me somewhere. Okay. So he's part of the secret elite. Like, as a kid, he was part of this secret elite group of prodigies. This is his friend who keeps calling him one of these prodigies? That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Ah, there's that story, too. The group I'm in is a little bit different than that, though. Well, the group name is inspired by that myth, but I can say for sure that the group isn't as extraordinary as the rumors claim it to be. That may be true, but they served as role models to a lot of people, myself included. Uh. Is that why you joined Code Bounty? Not quite. Before I started doing projects on Code Bounty, I was a black hat hacker for fun. You know, just to hone my skills. She's a black hat hacker. Code Bounty became one of the first wow. websites I targeted due to how popular it was. But I realized soon after that I could take on coding projects for practice instead of freelance hacking. <laughs> Plus I also got paid for it and there was essentially no risk at all. Yeah, that's fair. It was a win-win situation. And then you worked hard to achieve your dream. That was actually a really touching story, Yume. Aww. But I'm still not going to give up on taking that top spot from you. <laughs> wow, my first rival. This sounds pretty fun. I never really cared about it before, but now I'm getting all fired up. I don't plan on giving that spot up to you all that easily, I. Let's both do our best then. I'll get working as soon as I get home. That reminds me. We should probably start heading back now. I push my empty plate towards the center of the table. Take it. <laughs> you may growl. Grabs it. Not growls. Grabs it and hands me a takeout cake box. I, excited to go home and continue doing our projects, stands up right away. All right. Thanks for the nice chat, you two. See you soon. See you, Yume. I'll text you later tonight. Sure. I'll be waiting. Ah, Young. What's up? I'm feeling motivated to chase after that dream again. Especially, no voice acting, okay. Especially now that I have proof that the Kanye Shenti weren't just some made-up internet hoax. I don't know exactly how good you are, but I do know that you have to be one of the best programmers alive. So they are they, are, are they a group of, are they all programmers? Like, super smart programming people? That being said, I will do my best to surpass you. Ooh. I don't really know what I'm supposed to say back to that. Yume definitely looks determined, but I can't really do anything for her except cheer her on. I don't know about that whole one of the best programmers alive thing, but good luck anyway. We'll wave goodbye and to Yume as we exit the bakery. Can you believe it? The shopkeeper of the bakery you basically live at was the same person I've been trying to surpass since I joined Code Bounty! <laughs> That's actually really insane. Is it weird that I'm more surprised about Troy being a girl? That too! <laughs> Wait, she said something about surpassing you. Does that mean you're my end goal too? Uh, are you still taking thinking about getting that top rank on the website? No, I'm talking about becoming the best programmer in the world. Come on, not you too. She wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. Oh! A few meters away from the street, to my apartment, a stranger walks by. I stops and looks at him. She suddenly decides to walk faster in order to call out to him. Hey, how are you? She acts as if he's an old friend, but of some sort, but obviously that can't be the case. I fall behind her at my own pace and recognize him the moment I see his face. It's the same guy I greeted this morning. Oh, okay. Well, this guy's a portrait. Must be important. The three of us continue walking. I... Decide to stay a few steps behind them and observe. I'm good, thanks. How about you? Good, good. I saw you this morning as well. Taking a walk? Something like that. I walk around this area a lot. It's for exercise, isn't it? It's nice to take care of your body. Not exactly. Walking helps me relax when I'm getting stressed with work. Don't tell me he's number two on the programming site. Because that, that'd be ridiculous. Nice. What do you do? I'm a programmer. 
I'm a mechatronics oh, engineer for a small company nearby. <sighs> Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really glad he's not a programmer. I'm just gonna say that. I, I stay silent for a few seconds. I see. That sounds cool. Mechatronics. It must be really stressful if you have to take multiple walks throughout the day. I sometimes take a work, take a work, take a walk when I'm trying to figure out like a tricky problem at work. That's fair. I, I understand. I understand. Eh, not really. Eh. I'm working on a personal thing at home right now, and it's giving me quite a headache. Oh, so it's a personal thing. Oh, if he wants to program his own AI girlfriend. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Clearly. They continue talking until we reach the front of my apartment building. I guess this is where we separate. By the way, my name is I. Oh, and this is Young. Oh, uh, oh, hi. I haven't said anything. Nice to meet you two. I'm Toshi. Hi, Toshi. Well then, I guess I'll see you again sometime. Ah, uh, see ya. We wave to Toshi and head towards my room. He he makes robots, right? So what? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's no implication there. Uh, I just thought it was funny that he was talking with a robot. Ow! She slaps the back of my head way too hard. Can you just open the door already? Fine, fine. Ah, home at last. Can't remember the last time I spent uh, almost a whole day outside. It was so, so much fun! So... I head towards the computer as soon as I walk in. Do you want to eat the cake now? Nah, I'm still full. That's fair. You had the angel cake already. I bring the double cake to my coffee table and put on some random TV channel to fill the silence while I put myself into a food coma. Since I is busy with a project and can't control how much I eat at this point in time, I throw the first slice of cake into a paper plate, onto a paper plate, and start chowing down. I quite eat the entire country in one sitting if it tasted like this. Originally, I plan on eating just a small part of the cake and saving the rest of it for tomorrow, but before I know it, the entire thing is gone. Whoops. What's the... I thought you were going to save some for I, or did you get two cakes? One for her, one for you. Whoops, with the cake completely gone, I continue to just watch TV for the time being. My stomach hurts too much to even turn on the game console. Oh yeah, what was that Konyo something or other that you guys were talking about earlier? Konyo Senti? It's just a small group of friends. Yume didn't make it sound that simple. Hmm. I'll explain it. I sit down at the table, eager to hear what I have to say. I, I don't even know which story I should tell. What do you mean? The Kanye said were some kind of legend back in the day. It was basically just a group of people with superhuman capabilities. This group of people would hide in the shadows, fending off enemies that no one else could beat. Sounds like a movie I'd watch. It was basically just an idea. But one day, an ambitious, an ambitious girl thought it'd be cool to make the Kanye Senti a reality and formed a group donning the same name. She even went as far as copying their insignia and having the members display it on their bodies. It's kind of like a tattoo, but not really a tattoo. Let me guess, she searched for the best of the best and asked them to join the group. You just happen to be one of the chosen ones. Pretty close. Follow the legend as closely as possible, secrecy was always her top priority. She couldn't ask famous people to join, considering that would defeat the purpose. She had to look for people who were great at what they did, but still incredibly low-key. Wouldn't that be hard, though? You had to find people who are hard to find? Normally, but she was extremely good at reading people. As in she could read minds? She was the ultimate analyst? God. Is this really Danganronpa? Not that, but she can quickly guess a person's personality, worries, talents, everything. Their talent? Their ultimate talent? Oh my gosh. Sometimes without even talking to them. Is this a Danganronpa VN? <laughs> she was essentially a really, really good psychologist. The ultimate psychologist. Hiding somewhere in the school. <laughs> a 16 student. <laughs> Watch out for her. <laughs> uh, no, that... That term might be a bit off. I guess that's uh, one of the reasons why forming the group was possible in the first place. But wouldn't that mean the members aren't necessarily the best of the best? Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. 
You may probably mistook the group I'm in for the one from the legend, and believes it's the same thing. That's what I was trying to tell her earlier. The only weird thing is that she knows a lot more than I thought she would. I just hope she doesn't have any high expectations from me. Well, you are one of the best programmers out there, Young. That's fair. I mean, who else could have made an AI as sophisticated as myself, huh? Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Who else could have made an AI as sophisticated as... I... Is the name... Is the name supposed to be, like, meaningful, or... Is it just, you know... It just sounded like a good name. <laughs> um... Hmm... Shit straight up with pride. I wonder, I must admit, the members are definitely all exceptional people. But in the end, it's just an imitation of a story. Fortunately, we don't battle mythical beasts or anything like the legends claim we do. It really has just become a group of friends. I always have thought about making like some kind of like AI program, like, like yeah, like a chatbot or something. You know. Yeah, I, I've learned a bit of, like, neural networks and stuff, and I made some pretty fancy stuff with it before, but I've never tried to do, like, a, like an actual AI AI, you know, like, one you talk to. It'd be kind of interesting, though. Part of it, yes, but not really as enthusiastic about it as the other members. Or you may. I looks as if she's trying to absorb everything I told her. I feel like the story is, like... Made for, like, exactly me, at some points. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> I turn off the TV and... That's something about going to bed. Sorry, I should read before I hit the continue, because this game doesn't have history as far as I can tell. It's kind of annoying. Uh, in any case, it's not like something you need to worry about. Okay. Good night. Oh, and I need to borrow your phone. I want to text you, May. Why don't you... You should, you should get your own phone, too. That... It's probably a good idea. I hand her my phone. I don't bother teaching her how it works. I'm pretty sure she can figure it out in a minute or two. You t did you tell her the lock code? The only thing I can uh, see her struggling with is using her thumbs on the touchscreen. Oh well. Listening to the incessant tapping of her fingers against the screen. I eventually just drift out of sleep. Is she like smacking the screen with her fingers? <laughs> like, that's pretty funny. Um. Reboot. Okay, I think I cut that off there. That was long, but it was good. It's really good. I like how we meet other people. That's kind of interesting. Um, that's insane how Yume is, like, someone extremely relevant to the story. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a VN about a robot girl. So, I mean, whatever, I guess. But still. Oh, you know. And then, the Kanya Senti, that kind of came out of nowhere. But, I mean, Young needed some kind of backstory that, why well, he was able to create a super powerful AI. It's because he's part of this elite group, obviously. That, that makes sense, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.